Well, this is day one. Just outside my brother's house. And um, here he is. And yeah, this is where I start, so brilliant. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm in France! Cambry. There's a uh, outside there. It's my tent. Pretty small, as you can see. My toes touch the top. Let's have a look down there. There we go. Yep. There they are. Bit knackered. Just had a steak that was probably the rarest steak I've ever eaten. Which would be fine, but it was kind of a mincemeat one. So. A little bit weird, but it was it was all right. I don't really want to say good, but it was all right. I'm sorry I haven't updated from the first day to this, but I was worried about battery. But my solar panel's working quite well, so maybe I'll do a few more. Anyway, before these fellow campers think that I'm a weirdo talking to myself in a tent, I'm going to sign off. So <laughs> sign off. <laughs> Uh, anyway, yeah. Meh. Bye. Hello. It's the end of day five. Had an easy day, only 20 miles. Because I was in... Uh, well, it was my day off, so I went into Noyon, got some nice food, had some steak, which was good, um, pate, which was lovely, that was the starter, and then some mousse for dessert, lovely. Um, in the campsite now, I was going to get some sleep, it's probably about half past eight, quarter to nine. I've got a family, one side of me, playing... Uh, King of the castle and next door a couple playing um, Jean-Michel Jarre I think it's the whole album hmm I've got a hook here just wondering if it's possible hang yourself in a tent well, I don't know if you could do it with a bungee cord probably not it's weird when you're out here on your own you don't really have anyone to bounce off um, so talking to this camera although it seems a little bit weird it's actually I can be a little bit normal <laughs> um, over the course of the four days so far I've picked up a couple of imaginary friends no, that's, it's normal, I think. I'm sure Ella McCarthy, she had multiple on that boat, I'm pretty sure. 
so I've got Benny he's the little mascot at the front so he's not completely imaginary he's there physically he's not quite there mentally because he's made of wood I also have there's a little dog that runs next to me he's called Frankie original um, and then whenever it gets hard going up and down hills well going up hills I have a bloke called Jack you've probably already heard him actually it's working hello my name is Tom I don't know if you hear me anymore it's probably not the uh well, I am here, and I'm currently on top of the hill. This is where I want to be. The hills on top are nice, as you get to go down. They're not so nice on the way up. I thought I would record a little bit of uh, what it's like on the route. I promise you this is not uh, any different. If the camera was off, I would be talking to myself in much the same way. There is a man there and a lady. They were going down the hill, having a whale of a time. And going up the hill, having not so much a whale of a time. And trying to get my first location. So I can turn a corner and go to my second location. I will tell you which ones they are, but I cannot pronounce them. But for now it is just me. Me and the eel. The evil eel. I have been fighting this eel. Oh, there's a sign for my place. Bo and V and something else. And I'm pretty much do that pretty much the whole way when it's hard. Okay. Day six. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, oh, it's really lovely. Yeah. I've only got a standoff with a cow right over there. Oh, in closer. He put his head up. I don't know if he, he possibly just interested on bright green, maybe. But he's had his horns cut, so I'm thinking the pointy bit is not going to spear me, as it's not there. But at the same time, do I want to be knocked off my bike by cow? But if I go quickly enough, is he going to shit himself? You know, it's not as if he runs at cars. It's a dilemma, really, because I don't want to have to go all the way back down there. Not that I really know where I'm going this way anyway. Oh, I don't know. What should I do? Should I risk it? <sighs> I'm going to risk it, aren't I? Tom Hodges versus cow slash I don't know potentially bull. Right, I need to be quick, so I'm in the lowest. Yeah, I'm in low gear. I'm pretty sure nothing's going to happen here. Here we go. just a cow. It's just a cow with some horns. Like that one. He's only interested. Oh, I'm knackered now. That was like my old daily intake of energy. He's wasted on one cow. He's still munching. Oh. Oh, sorry, that wasn't any more exciting. I'll let you know if I come across any other 
unlethal French wildlife. Not wild, they're behind fences. Halfway through my journey, slightly extravagant, just going to clean that off. But yeah, so I thought I'd uh, show you around my, my abode for this evening. So this is the, uh, oh these are the stairs by the way, up to uh, my apartment. So that's the kind of thing we're living in. There's a little swing over there, I'm going to sit in that a bit, a bit later. So let's go inside. As you can see there, lovely flat screen TV for a little bit of uh, watches, you know, seats, plenty of them, check him out, oh yeah, yeah, it, this is the bathroom, I mean, can't argue with that can you, I'll be in that in a minute. in and I've been hit with this mother I don't know if it quite translates but this is uphill and it's been uphill for the last half a mile and it looks like it's going to carry on I don't know around that corner could be the end could just be the beginning oh god it's unbelievably hot I was going to hope to stick to the river that was the plan somehow through Jumping from little village to little village, I've, I've ended up up an hill instead of near the rubber. That was my best French. So we're going to crack on and probably stop at every little pea side, which is a lay by. There's one just up there in the distance. I reckon if I stop for 20 minutes on each one. I'll get up here by the end of next week. Oh, I need a wee as well. And I don't. It's not really private, especially when you're wearing one of these uh, little vest things. I've got a vest on under this. Makes me look like a WWF wrestler. Sorry, WWE. Uh, but they're not very. They're not very. They're not. They've not got any type of evacuation pouch or anything, so you have to kind of... It doesn't look that pretty anyway. So, um... So I'm going to hold that until lunchtime, which is, I don't know when, soon hopefully. Probably about an hour or so. No, probably about two, two and a quarter hours. Hopefully I will have got to the top of the hill by then. Maybe even gone down the other side. I'm just thinking of the journey down. That would be nice, wouldn't it? rolling as you can see I'm on gear one very very easy gear I look a little bit like a clown on one of those tiny little bikes feet spinning around like nothing um yeah sorry I'm just I'm just stalling really trying to get back on the bike that's all this is really don't need a video, just something to do in it. Right. Well, I just thought I'd uh, let you know. I got up the hill. It was massive. I was welcomed only by a motorway junction, which wasn't very nice. And then I carried a cron across some fields. And then I uh, literally just rode down the best road I've ever rode in my life. I mean, not as beautiful as some of the others from earlier, but... Oh, that was brilliant. 35 miles an hour with the brakes on. No helmet. Sorry, man. 
that was brilliant. I mean, I don't know if you can see in the distance, you probably can't. There's a little chateau right at the top of that hill. Started there. Oh, that was... I've got to find out what play where I am. It's very important that I do. Because that road was superb. Now I'm in a lovely, lo lovely little French place again. Look. It's beautiful. It's lovely. You know, lovely building over there. stay in this campsite, have a little look around, that's the snack shop, it's nice, first night I woke up with no moisture in the tent either, which is lovely, so yeah, it's really good, uh, last night I had um, the, the two snack shop ladies, they were, um, they are pretty sure they were trying to set me up with their granddaughter, not gonna happen. But, uh, oh well, I mean, I'm sure she's lovely. I think the language barrier is probably one of the main main problems there. But uh, things are looking good. As long as my bike doesn't explode or I don't explode, get there on time. Also, I want to try and get away from this campsite for a little bit because I don't want them to try and arrange some type of weird. French marriage. I'm in the middle of nowhere, so it could be like something from the Wicker Man. I don't know. Maria or Bert. Hello. Um, this is day nine. I've had a little ride out to. On, well, on fleur, or probably the French say, en fleur. Really nice. Lots of lovely buildings. Go on, have a look at that. Boom. There you go. Hey. Okay. Lovely. Really busy. Loads of people here. Very nice. Looking a bit weird because I'm talking to a camera. Um, munching down on a chocolate ice cream. One of the nicest ice creams I've had. Like proper dark chocolate as well. More people looking weird. No, no, obviously I don't know. Not many people talking to a camera, obviously. Around here, but yeah. So. 554 miles so far. I've got to get back as well, so I'm going to have to do another 30. So it's looking all good for today. Lovely. Again. I've said lovely quite a lot in this in these videos, I think. But it pretty much just describe the whole place. So. It's lovely, this. <coughs> at a park, pulled up my bike, popped him down on a bench, having a cola and a bag. And over in the distance, I wonder if I can zoom, I think I can zoom on this thing, over in the distance you will be able to see where I was originally going to go, La Havre. Well, that's the worst zoom known to man. So those pixels over there are La Havre. I'm sure, I'm pretty sure it's La Havre. Um, and it looks like one massive dock, uh, cranes and stuff. So I think I made the right choice coming to Enfleur. Lovely. Again, it's lovely. That was a burp there. It's just relaxing. Worth the journey. My hands are hurting a little bit. I don't know if you can see, they're quite sore around the palm area. 
all riding, I can assure you. Look at that, check that out. Now, that suggests that light is let in through the green, but not through the black. Look at that. Looks like I'm wearing a watch. Never wear a watch. Uh, it's just normal there. Sun didn't get there. Hey. Yeah, so I've darkened up a little bit. I mean, that white is my usual dark colour. So as you can imagine, I've gone quite orange. Hey ho. Part and parcel. Most people lay in a booth twice a month for pay 30 quid for that, so... What the fuck, France? Check that out! Abingdon. Argentan. Or Argentan. Married. Together. I'm here. i walk up to the sign now so you can get a bit of a closer look. There we are. It's official. I'm in Abingdon. Although not quite Abingdon. It's, um... Wow. Well, about as bleak as Abingdon. Uh, haven't seen much of it though, so won't, won't judge a book while it cover. It's a tractor. Um, yeah, you know, for all I know, this could be the Saxton Road of, of Argentan. So, as I say, I won't judge a book. Um, yeah, last night I stayed in uh, Lagar. Sorry, today is day 11, I think. Yeah, I stayed in La Gare last, uh, De La Gare, Hotel De La Gare. Had some lovely muscles, that was really nice. Did about 52 miles. It weren't a great day, I had a bit of a pain in my leg. Today I'm feeling a bit more refreshed. It was raining earlier, but now the sun's coming out, obviously, because I'm in Abingdon. That's, that's what happens in Abingdon. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to have a little look round. If I see anything of interest or that reminds me of anything from home, I'll film it. If not, then you know it was pretty much boring. So, there's another little shot of Owingdon there. Thanks, Mum, for the info. I wasn't going to go otherwise. Oui. There we go. Très bien. So, so what are we doing? <laughs> we're doing it in front of the camera. Oui? The camera? We're doing something in the camera. Okay, what are we doing? Tom. Tom. Julien. Elisa. Oh, you fell over. Hello. Hello. So, yes, here in the house, staying in the, the garden of a kind gentleman and his uh, his two lovely kids. I don't know if there is or not. I'm a bit confused. Uh, they're from Morocco. He's Copy. not. <gasps> That's a hand. <gasps> we. <Oui. laughs> um. Um, yeah, so I'm staying in this house of this guy I met at the train station after finding out there was no campsites here. Um, two little kids, you know, he's a typical French white man, two little Moroccan kids. Don't know what the story is there, but turns out he was the Moroccan ambassador or something, so I assume it's some type of adoption or something. Lovely. Um, but I've become a a babysitter 
actually a little bit. I can hear him behind me. I know he's coming up. I know he's coming to chase me. I'm looking after him now. He's just sat in there watching TV. He's thinking, score. I've got somebody to look after the kids for a little bit. So, here I am. Running around the corner to try and get five minutes away from these kids. And they're lovely. They are lovely, but... God. Bet they ain't got a bedtime either. Probably not. I can hear him. He's coming. Here he comes. Don't know if you can see us. Probably quite dark. Just me and Julian sat here. Having a fag. Well, I am eating. Came sat in this bit of grass. You see? No shit you on had... it. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. Bad. Bad. Oh, no, no, no. This is, uh, it's wet grass. Only really dry stuff burns. Like you can understand. Une fois déjà arrivé. Une fois c'est déjà arrivé ici. Really? Well, I'll have to watch out ah. for that. It's amazing how quickly the novelty of children wears off. Sat in a restaurant earlier. Old Julian just comes in. Third course. He whacks in. Oui? Big house. Big chambre. Oh, you want me to look over with the camera? Okay. So anyway, yeah, he just rocks in. Sits down with me. I have to buy him some dessert, of course. Can't not, can I? I can't eat dessert while he's not, while he's there. Oh, well, that's, yeah, that's... You can't see it on the camera, it's too dark. That's a graveyard. Yeah. Careful now. What do you reckon, Julian? What do you reckon about the whole situation? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much what I was thinking. Don't know if you can hear that, there's a guy singing. All very weird. Oh, it's all very weird. But I'm just going to explain one more time this situation. I'm currently in a random French village, having a fag overlooking a graveyard with an eight-year-old Moroccan boy listening to an old Frenchman sing. This is as weird as it's got. Good. but very, very, very weird. Hello? Day 13? Tw no, 12. Day 12. Oh, God, last night. That was a bit of a... Heavy one. Well, I say heavy, not in the drunk sense, just in the effort. Looking after them little Moroccan kids. But really fun, really nice. They were, I mean, they're wonderful. Wake up this morning, raining this morning. Uh, when I was, when I got up, I did accentuate somewhat the smell of the dog poo that uh, was kind of surrounding base camp um, but it was good you know it was good I got up you know got my stuff together um, had a little bit of uh, had a coffee from a bowl first time I've done that since I've been in France a bit weird but dribbled slightly but it was fine um, now I've rode down I found a campsite near Ostrom so I pitched up the tent and now I've just arrived into Ostrom saying that right I'm just sitting down and having a bit of chill lost my tobacco yesterday so I've had to buy some more which is a bit of a shame so I thought I was going to be able to make it on that one pouch and I've also lost a pair of uh, my riding shorts if you can believe so I'm down to one pair opposed to two 
and they were the long ones that went right down to the to the anchor which were the ones I preferred actually they were surprisingly cooler um, so all in all a night stood uh, stay, staying in, in, in a guy's garden actually was the most expensive night I've, I've spent here for one reason or another Yep. I am by the sea. Which is very nice. We're uh, right down to Ostrom today. Ostr oh, I can't say it, I don't know. Um, it's a lovely day. I've had a dip in the sea as well, which is very good. Cleansed, as I feel. Cold, much like the English. So I suppose it's the English Channel, so it's going to be the same, isn't it? Um, but very nice um, just chilling here now I've got to do a bit more riding um, yeah just sitting down having another fag obviously um, drinking a Lipton's iced tea as well pesh which I think is peach only discovered them yesterday I've seen them everywhere since I've been here only discovered them yesterday they're bloody lovely I've been drinking them earlier but that's one for the future. Um, it's very good. Yeah, I'm gonna put my shades on actually. It's like it's that good. I'm putting my shades on. <sighs> yeah, it's lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Very happy. Well, 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 as you can see, it's over, 801 and a half miles, nailed it, now sitting on the boat, going back home to Grosse Britannia, that was German, um, it's been brilliant, it's been emotional, been really tough, it's been amazing, it's been lovely. Now I don't have to do it anymore for a bit. But yeah, I'd just like to thank everyone. Thank you for all the comments on Facebook, all the likes, all the, uh, all the support, the messages, for everyone read. Everyone appreciated. Thanks for all the donations. Uh, help for heroes that was brilliant as well I haven't looked on the page yet but apparently it's over 800 quid so we did a pound a mile perfect great